park is located in St. Catharines, Ontario, which is a fairly small community, but it's very close to Niagara Falls. It's about 20 minutes from Niagara Falls, so that's a, a point that probably most people would uh, recognize. Um, it's also about an hour and 15 minute drive from Toronto, one of, which is the ma most major city centre. Brock is a medium-sized university. It's about 17,000 full-time students and we have about 2,500 students in the business school with about 350 students who are studying at the graduate level. It's a fairly uh, contained um, campus. Um, all of the buildings are joined so that students can walk from one building to the next. Uh, indoors in the dead of winter when it's nice and cold and everyone's wearing their warm jackets. We have all kinds of wonderful facilities for the students on campus. We have an Olympic sized swimming pool. We have a full fitness center. There are um, lots of organized um, athletic opportunities for the students if they want to play basketball, volleyball, any of the the sport. We also have a baseball team if they're there at the beginning of the semester in the fall. Um, we've usually got about 50 international exchange students um, through the business school. We also have exchange students through the Central Office of International Services. So there's probably about 150 um, exchange students at the university at any one point in time. So I, I find that the exchange students, when they first arrive, they're generally nervous, a little bit unsure of themselves. Um, they've come to a new country, uh, everything's done a little bit differently, so it's, it's a different style. But generally it takes them four to six weeks, they get acclimatized very quickly. The Brock campus is very friendly, the students are very accommodating to uh, international visitors and I think they feel very warmly welcomed and they seem to uh, grow in terms of their own personal confidence and uh, it works quite well. From our standpoint, when our students who go from Brock on exchange and come back, many of them say to me when they go for job interviews afterward that employers are quite impressed to see that on their resume, that they've studied abroad at another school in another country. They feel that it gives them that sort of extra added enrichment and, and understanding of other cultures that uh, makes them that much more employable. Okay, that was exciting.